one thing um, I did mention earlier on in one of my um, videos about um, making silly mistakes or absent minded mistakes, I should say. And one of the things that happened while I was at the Independent was that the newspaper got involved in what I'll only refer to as probably one of the most famous fatwas that was ever issued. And as a result of that, I believe the chain reaction was that we ended up getting a very beefed up security at City Road, which involved very uh, small airtight um, security lock doors. So you had a door that shut, then maybe six people could get in and then the door would shut. And then you'd have to wait for them to come out before the door in front opened and it was all took ages. Well, our meetings in display started promptly at 9.30 uh, to go through the papers. And I seem to think that it was fine to turn up at 9.30, forgetting completely that, about these airlock doors. So what originally was designed to fit six people suddenly turned into sort of almost 12 because people would cram in behind everybody and shut the door behind them. I completely forgot about this until maybe two, three weeks into my time at The Economist, where we had revolving doors and absentmindedly walked into work, saw the re revolving door going with somebody probably very important in it. And I slid in behind them in order to get that airlock thing and then realised, of course, that we're at The Economist. We don't do this kind of thing. And I walked in slowly, pretending that nothing had happened. Felt like a complete fool.